going on everybody? Today I have the, I just picked up this morning, the Harbor Freight Bauer Electric 2000 PSI Pressure Washer. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the box and see what we got. Got the owner's manual. Got some brackets and some handles here. Another piece of the bracket. Got the gun. There's the wand. Got cord here. There's the handle. Handle. Main unit here. Hold on. Got a wheel. Two wheels. See what we got going in here. No instructions. All right. Attach the wheels. hardware's in this bag. Alright. So put the pin. Got a pin here. Got the wheel and the pin, got a washer, and a little clip. On the other side. <clears throat> Get in there. Attach handle. Put the handle in. 
Got a little spring button here. You gotta hold that in, slide the handle. And it will release into a hole like that. Okay. Next we have the gun holder. And two screws. this gun holder is in two pieces. So I think this is what they're calling the gun holder. We're going to see if I can get this fit on. screws that go up through the handle. That's going to be this bag. Got it. storage handle. And I'm guessing this is the cord holder. We'll find out here in a second. And three fasteners. Now there's a nut sort in the handle for this one. It's got a machine thread. It says to face this upward. Look at it right there. There's the handle or the uh, cord holder. Now, can 
connect high pressure hose. So. Small fitting right underneath here. Now this has a rubber o-ring on it that you'll take, push it in and seat it. Then you're pretty well lined up to turn this on. push the wand on then you can screw this up oh, once you have it seated in okay so this is the gun holder here Looks like we got it finished up. Uh, I'm going to take them in here. I'm going to measure the uh, the length of these, length of the cord, and the length of the hose, so I can give that to you. And uh, I'll be right back. All right. So there it is together. Now I measured the water line. Uh, from the unit to the gun that is 25 feet and your electrical cord is roughly 35 feet they're not exact measurements it's give or take you know a foot two foot six inches but 25 35 uh, here's your nozzles uh, there's zero degrees straight out 25 degrees and 40 degree spread then you have a soap tip here these just uh during a little rubber grommet they pop out they're a quick connect you just uh i have the 20 degree one in here you just slide back your coupler pop it in or pop it out and you're good to go when you're not using them just push them back in and they're good to go of course there's your cord hanging on there I just have this wrapped up here because we use this thing basically every day we will so I'm not wrapping the cord up around there every time and have it in those small coils um, 
The one thing I will say is this cord, when I was stretching it out, and I took it off down here where it was coiled up, uh, I don't know if you can see that, there was a couple places where it kinked, and it kinked like really severely, so I'm hoping that didn't affect anything inside the hose. We'll see. Uh, there's your off on. Here's your connection for your water from the house, or wherever you're coming from, and they have a little quick start guide right there for you. And here's a soap tank if you want to use, uh, if you want to put soap on right there. Looks like a pretty decent unit. We'll get uh, some measurements here for you, and then we'll get it plugged in and see how it works. Alright, gonna do some measurements here. So width from outside wheel to wheel, you're gonna be right in the area of 19 to 20 inches width. I'm gonna try to get this from Basically, the widest part is the bottom. So, you're going to be around 18 to 19 inches front to back. Height. You're right about three feet possibly 37 inches for the height. They do have a little uh, quick start guide here for you know how to hook everything up. Turn your water on at the house. Squeeze your trigger for 30 seconds. And then plug it in, turn it on. So they, they apparently they want you to prime the water in it before you turn anything on. <coughs> So I'll get this thing hooked up and kind of do a little test to show you how it sprays out with the uh, 20 degree tip and you can kind of see how noisy it is and what have you. So we'll get to that here in a little bit. All right, I have the, got the water hooked up. I squeezed the handle for 30 seconds to get the water completely through the system, any air bubbles out. Uh, I have it plugged in and it is turned on. So I'll give it a squirt here and show you what it does. That is the 25 degree nozzle and you can turn these any way you want when you're not squeezing the trigger you can turn it any way you want. Okay, now I'll show you the, uh, I'm going to take that 25 out. This is the 40. You can see, I don't know if you can see, yeah, this hose has a lot of curls and kinks in it from being wrapped so tight. A 
I like that 40 degree tip for uh, doing the bike there. That seems to be the best. Now I'll pop in the uh, straight stream. This is the zero degree. I would probably won't have much use for that. And this is your soap nozzle. No, I have no soap in the container. That's basically just a very low pressure fan. going to put my 40 back in. All right, so it seems to uh, operate uh, very well. So we'll see how it holds up. Now, for any of you guys watching this, I this was the old one from Harbor Freight, the Portland 1750 PSI. This was an awesome pressure washer. I've had this for two years. It literally sits outside all summer long, stays plugged into water, plugged into the wall. Uh, I had no issues with this until I put it away this winter and instead of putting it in the basement of the house, I put it out in the shed and I did not have all the water cleaned out of the handle and it froze in there and, and uh, blew out the plastic section of the hose and the handle to where you couldn't fix it so I replaced it with this one but that small Portland right there is a very good pressure washer you know if you don't want to spend the money this one here was 149 on their spring Black Friday sale it's normally I believe 189 and it was 149 but uh, to me, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, you got 25 foot water line, 35 foot electrical cable, so it's pretty good. We'll uh, use it here all summer long and maybe give a one year review after we use it all summer and put it through its paces. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and get a pressure washer and get outside.